Welcome back to the channel everybody and thanks for tuning in. Today is a big day because we are going to be installing a lift on our Jeep Gladiator. Um, uh, fun story, we, this is actually the second time filming this intro, the first time the footage got deleted. So this is the second time doing this. The lift is already done so I have a little bit more information to give you up front so maybe that's a blessing in disguise for you. So the lift we went with on this Jeep Gladiator is the Metal Cloak 3.5 inch Game Changer Suspension. Uh, it is a full lift with all eight control arms, both front and rear track bar, sway bar links, uh, extended brake lines for the rear, bump stop extensions, and uh, front shock relocation brackets, and um, outboard brackets for the shocks, the lower mounts. Uh, things we did not decide to include on this one was a front drive shaft. We're still going to be running the factory drive shaft. I think we'll be okay since we're still using the factory shock length. Uh, all we did was lower that amount, but we'll see. Didn't want to invest in that just yet. Um, and the second thing we did not include on this lift was any kind of aftermarket shock. So um, I, I love the ride quality of the Fox shocks that come in the Rubicon. Didn't want to change those up, so we're just going to see how those last over time. I think we're going to be plenty fine. Metal Cloak said when I emailed them that a lot of the customers are doing that as well. So I think we'll be okay. Um, but if we ever go to a different aftermarket shock that can travel longer than the, the stock ones, then we'll probably be doing the first thing and replacing that front drive shaft too to allow more lower articulation. So let's get into the video. This is not going to be a full installation video of step-by-step -step instructions. Metal Cloak has great instructions. Um, that was very easy to follow along. So this is going to be more just an overview, uh, quick time lapse things of the installation, and then we'll look at the Jeep at the end and, and kind of show you what it looks like once it's lifted, some before and after stuff. Um, and uh, give some final thoughts and then obviously uh, I've been driving on this for about a week now since we installed it officially it's driving great just like factory you just feel a little bit taller so um, the, the rubber bushings um, the Duraflex joints that Metal Cloak has are phenomenal they mimic the OEM rubber bushing just fine but give you all that flexibility and capability of a Johnny joint style um, bushing or joint. So I think it's the best of both worlds for these control arms. And so far, I'm very happy with them and, and the way they look. When we first off, you're gonna see me take some measurements of the um, Jeep at its stock height so we can compare them to afterward. At the end of the video, I'll, I'll kind of compare the before and after measurements to tell you how much lift we got on each corner of the vehicle.
Well, all right, you guys, it's actually day two. We're actually about a week later since we did the front of the lift. Uh, got busy on that on that day, and um, the front side just took a little bit longer than we expected, so it's a week later. We're gonna finish the back now. It looks kind of odd, though, with it slouched in the back. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. <laughs> but, uh, so we got our lift on the front. It's looking good. Um, everything's all installed, ready to go. I dialed in the steering wheel a little bit already, so the steering wheel is straightened out. And then today we're just gonna work on the back. It should go a little bit easier because there's no shock brackets or any of that kind of stuff. So, all right, stay tuned. Well, all right, you guys. Hopefully you can hear me well. This, uh, I got fans running in the background because it's like 110 degrees here in Arizona right now. It is brutal. First off, um, I'll just give you the differences because the initial numbers don't matter. It depends where you're gonna measuring from. But so in the front, uh, I actually got a little bit different numbers on the side. Uh, from passenger to driver's side. Um, these numbers are very arbitrary. I may have not measured in the exact same spot each time, so take this with a grain of salt and uh, it just gives you some good idea of what to expect. So, front driver's side, I got 4.25 inches of lift. Uh, front passenger, 3.75. Uh, rear driver, 2.5. And, and rear passenger, 2.125, 2.8. So, not sure why the exact difference, why the passenger side is a little bit lower. Um, it has to do, maybe it's have to do with the gas tank on that side, I don't know. Metal Cloaks kits were not um, side specific. I know some kits out there have very specific springs for each side. Um, this one, the numbers were identical and it didn't mention anything about them uh, needing to go on either side. Um, you, I don't see a visual difference of it being slanted or not, so take us for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, overall ride quality is fantastic. Since we didn't, we didn't change out the shocks at all. The um, quality of the ride is pretty much exactly the same as, as the OEM ride quality. We were able to take it over the uh, uh, in an area behind our neighborhood, some you know hilly areas, and test it out there. It seems to be riding great. It feels comfortable, just like nothing seems out of the ordinary. So very happy. The only cons I have about this lift kit so far were a couple things during the installation. Um, one thing was this bolt right here that Medical provides you that is to, uh, their bolt that lowers the shock mount. So their bracket's here. The, fact, the factory bolt goes back in the top of their bracket where the factory shock was originally located. When you locate it down, they supply a new bolt and a new nut for the back side. Uh, Medical, I think you're supplying the wrong nut with that bolt. I. I don't know. It, it would. Uh, I feel like I stripped the bolt putting it on, but I hammered it on with an impact gun anyway, and it maxed out my high-end DeWalt impact gun. It took a lot of force to get that thing on there. So if I ever take it off, I'm buying new hardware for that uh, mount. Um, it's on there good. <laughs> I didn't bother torquing it because I think it would have maxed out my torque wrench at like a couple hundred foot-pounds. It, it felt that tight. Um, so that's my only con. So far, I'm really happy with the quality. Really happy with the quality of those bump stop extensions. I think that is like the most ingenious idea for bump stops, being able to just slip in a new puck and raise it up an inch whenever you need to, change the bolts, and doing it without having to take your springs off is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's all I really have to say about the lift kit, guys. Um, I'll pop in some videos, hopefully over this, showing the little bit we did in the back there, made a couple photos. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I got to say. Very happy so far. I'll give you an update down the road at some point in time, I'm sure. Without further ado, that's it guys. See you in the next one. Take care.